morning everyone. Welcome to Road Road and Restore. I'm John. Uh, in this video we're going to be changing the oil on my 900 diversion. So I'm just out and about getting my engine up to normal operating temperature before I pull the drain plug out the bottom. So let's get it all warmed up and then I'll see you back in the shed. <clears throat> okay then, let's get this baby back in the shed before it gets too cold. Okay then, so the first thing we've got to do is get this baby on its main stand, which is not an easy feat with one of these gigantic, with one of these ginormous bikes. Plus it's sloping downhill because of the weight of the front end on the ship floor. So let's make sure and well that looks a lot far over there right? that must be right so let's just go for it one two three no one two three four there we go So, now, make sure the bike is level. And the way I do that on this bike is, just take the seat off. Take the seat off. Hopefully you've got a spirit level. Just stick it across the crossbars. Just put it on the subframe tubes, which should be level. If we look at the bubble, it is a mile out. So I think we need to put something underneath this side of the stand. So let me find something to chock underneath and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay then, so I just found a piece of metal to chock underneath it. And then as we can see, it's just about bang on. So that'll do for me. So now we just need a suitable container, stick that under the bike ready. Okay then, so to undo the knot we will need a 17mm spanner or socket. I'm going to use a socket because it makes life easier. Because you know that way is to tighten and that way is to undo. When you're down there looking upside down, you forget which way is clockwise. So just turn that on to undo, which is that way, and then we know we're right. So let's see if we can undo this baby. Okay, so there is the bolt in question. See if we can get our socket on it. There we are. It's nice and loose. So unscrew it with your fingers. Don't get your oil is going to be red hot, so watch your fingers. It is quite hot on my fingers already. Let's see if I can do this without getting oil all over me. Right, I think we're there. And there we go. I did get some oil on me, but not a lot, so just 
leave that to drain off and while we're waiting for that to drain off we could undo the oil filter okay then, I'm going to be honest with you it's the first time I've ever used one of these I usually use a screwdriver or a strap or something to undo my oil filter and this was not Christmas just gone the Christmas before I got this for as you could see by the dust so let's give this a go and see if it works I think they're about eight pound off eBay but uh, they're free if you get them for Christmas so here's the oil filter let's just check that our little gizmo fits yes it's perfectly now I just need the ratchet I think this is the I think it's the half inch hole I think it's the quarter inch hole so let me get the quarter inch ratchet okay I think you're in a good position there put my giant socket onto my little ratchet push it through there sure it's on nice and secure and see how easy this is <laughs> a piece of pea piece of pea look oh don't miss the ball that's it doesn't actually look that bad but it's been in there over a year so I'm going to change it and uh, oh no 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 don't go all over the floor there we go so there we go, just let all that drain off uh, a few years ago I did see a guy, I'm not sure if it was the 600 XJ but he did an oil change, showing you a step by step on how to do an oil change I won't mention any names, the workshop and he says just to make sure all you get your oil out turn the engine over and he actually pressed the starter button and started the engine up I wouldn't recommend that definitely even I know don't start your engine up when there's no oil in it I have put engine oil back into the engine without putting the drain plug back in before but uh, I certainly wouldn't start it without no engine oil in and if I did, I certainly wouldn't show it on YouTube. <laughs> so yes, just leave all that to drain. I might let it drain overnight actually, because I've got plenty of time. So I think I'll come back to this in the morning and uh, put the new filter on, the new plug back in and the new oil in. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay then, so this is the next day and I'm trying to tell you good morning and welcome back and all that lot. But unknowing to me, the microphone has stopped working. 
So the rest of this video will be narrated over by yours truly. Okay, let's get stuck into it. So here is our nice new shiny oil filter. Uh, usually at this point, people tell you to dip your finger into the clean engine oil and smear it around your oil seal, around the oil filter. But uh, these oil filters actually come pre-oiled, so there's no need to do it on this one. Uh, and the brand is just called High Flow. Okay, so next I'm just going to wipe around the engine to make sure it's clean because you don't want any grit to get underneath the rubber o-ring on the oil filter. Now once I've got the oil filter in position, I'll try to slowly rotate it clockwise to try and screw it back onto the thread. This is normally quite easy, but please make sure you don't over tighten it and get it cross threaded. So just screw it all the way up by hand, and if you can get your old hand around the oil filter, which I can't in this tight position, just tighten it up by hand as tight as you can, and that should be sufficient. But like I say, I can't get my hand around it, so I'm just going to use my trusty new socket. Okay, so don't turn this too tight, just ease it up nice and gently. Don't over tighten it because in six months or a year's time when you try to take it off, you'll be struggling. Right then, so that's the oil filter nicely in place. Now we've got to get the uh, drain plug with a new washer back into the sump. So again, with this, just screw it in gently. Make sure the threads don't cross. Screw it in all the way just by hand. And then finally, tighten it up with your 17 millimeter socket and ratchet. Okay, so this is the oil that was recommended for the XJ900S. So this is the oil I will be putting into the bike. Right then, if you're like me and you have the uh, workshop manual, you can go and check out the specifications. Okay, so the correct oil, oil type, API grade SE, SF or SG. Oil velocity, SAE 10W40 or 20W40. Engine oil capacity, oil change 3.2 litres, oil change with a new filter 3.4 litres, oil change following an engine overall, a dry engine, new filter 4.4 litres. So I think we need with new filter which is 3.4 litres. So I'm just going to work out where 3 litres is on the bottle and I'm just going to pour that amount in, 3 litres. And then keep topping it up as necessary. Uh, the engine oil filler is on the other side of the bike so I will see you on the other side. 
Okay, so we're on the other side. Let's remove the filler cap. Uh, the XJ doesn't have a dipstick on it, but it does have a viewing window down there so you can get your level correct. I find it easier to use a funnel, so I'm going to stick my funnel in there. Don't worry, all this paint is dry and it's not going to go into the engine. So let's top it up. Okay, so that's it, all to the correct level. We can remove our funnel. And let's check the level down there. Hopefully you can see the level. Just about bang on. So let's put our uh, little cap back on. Now what I like to do is pull off my HD leads like so, go around to the other side and pop up these HD leads as well. Then turn on the ignition. turn the engine over. And then all the engine oil will get back to everywhere it needs to be. Don't forget to turn your key off, put your HD leads back on, and that's it, job done. So, hope that has been a useful video on how to change your oil. I know a lot of us know how to do it, but there is a lot of newbies out there and a lot of people out there that take their bikes to the shop and pay a fortune just to have their oil changed. And hopefully videos like this will change their mind. Give it a go. So, thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one. And if I don't see you on the next one... I'll see you in another life, brother!